Hello, what's up? Just wanted to come on and talk a little bit about the my time with the DualSense Edge and the Portal, the PlayStation Portal. I'm going to talk about that in a minute, but I just wanted to come and make a video before I go on my stag do. Go on my stag do on Wednesday, so travelling to my parents back home to the to today, and then flying out in the morning at 7 o'clock in the morning, so I have to be up at like midnight to travel to 2 o'clock to be there for 3 hours before flight. So all packed and ready, travelling light. Only there for three nights. Get my birthday over there as well. So a little bit of factual knowledge there for you. Uh, we went there when we were 16 on our first lads holiday, which was quite quite strange thinking about it. Um, it's very young to let people go on holiday at that age. And it opened our eyes. Jesus. So my best man thought it would be a good idea if we went back when we were 39. Uh, some of us will be 40. Um, I actually get my birthday out there, my 39th birthday out there. So I'm quite happy to do that. Second time in a row I've been abroad for my birthday. So that's kind of cool. But I wanted to talk a little bit about the DualSense Edge first so i've had this for five months got this for christmas it was my perfect birthday present of my future wife it comes in this lovely little case protective case with all the little bells and whistles in there the extra that clips on if you want to use it wired which i do recommend everyone uses it wired because the battery on this is absolutely shocking um so i use it wired all the time but that's a lock you can just lock the cable in there You've got the back pedals you can change off. I'm actually using the circular ones on the back. Find them a little bit easier. Them ones are kind of, you press them accidentally because they're quite long. Um, you have got a raised um, joystick or thumbstick, whatever you want to call it, uh, for accuracy. I don't really use that, to be honest with you. I just use the regular ones. Um, but yeah, you can actually, it's got three profiles with a, a fourth default profile. You've got the haptic, fig, uh, haptic control on the back. You can stop the, the presses if you lock them in requires a less of a less less of a button response so there you go and it's great you can um, tinker around with the sensitivity of the buttons you can map the buttons on the back you've got two buttons on the back would have been nice if there was four like with the elite um but as far as playstation controllers go this is an absolute must i got this because the playstation controller that came with the ps5 had drift and it was absolutely annoying as hell but it's kind of good to just sort of uh you know switch controllers and you know map your buttons for different games you can have three games saved at the same time you know um and like i said the battery is awful four hour battery four to five hours it says four to six but it's really not depending on how much you use it you can actually take off the analogs as well, clean them if you do start to get drift again. Apparently they're going to be releasing another one of these with a better battery, but I'm quite happy with this one. And that's it really, I, I, that's that's my fucking two cents with it. Uh, I love it, it feels really heavy duty as well. Uh, you can charge it in the back if you take off the, the back of here. You can actually charge it whilst it's in his little protective case. I always keep that zipped up because the case is very sturdy. Very premium product, very happy with it. Wasn't happy with the price, but again, I didn't pay for it. Now the PlayStation Portal, there you can see me in the PlayStation Portal. And then inside that, you can see me in the PlayStation Portal, and then in the PlayStation Portal, and in the PlayStation Portal. How cool is that? Now this is just, basically I was using the Backbone, um, which is a mobile connective device. I was using that to play Xbox and PlayStation games on the go. Downside to that is, if someone rings you, it cuts off straight away, you get a text message, you have to come out of that, exit the program, you have to shut down your console. It's just a faff. This is really cool. Um, I'll turn it on, but no, I won't turn it on because my PlayStation's not in rest mode. I actually just set my PlayStation up downstairs so the missus can watch Sky TV whilst I'm away. She wants to watch one of her rubbish programs called SWAT. But this is great. I love this. You know, it feels very light, but also very premium. You know, it doesn't feel like you could, could easily break. Biggest, <clears throat> big screen, bigger than the Switch. Just, and it's basically just a remote play device. So you can just, your PlayStation's got to be in rest mode to use this. And you have to have a really good inter internet connection, which fortunately I do. And it's great. You can just sit and play anything you want that's on your PlayStation. You can download games on your PlayStation when you sat downstairs in the living room. Um, having a shit and playing God of War was a big fucking eye-opener for me. That was huge. Not the shit. Probably was. But that was a huge moment for me. That was like, I'm playing God of War whilst having a massive turd. It really spoke to me in that moment. The battery is like, it says five to six hours but I've been using this for quite a while. I don't really know. Maybe I'll have to time it. But the battery on, on this, I can't describe how 
terrible the battery is for this. Um, but the battery on this seems pretty good. It charges really fast. charges within an hour. Do you know what I mean? And then you've got like six to seven hours life on it. Um, you can't watch YouTube on it. You can't stream. I've got, I'm sub currently subscribed to PlayStation Plus Premium. You can't you can't sit using this and then stream on PlayStation Plus Premium because you're already streaming your console from downstairs or wherever your console is, which is unfortunate. Maybe there'll be a second version for this where it's a little bit more... Um, I think this might be testing, like testing the water for Sony to enter the handheld market because that seems to be the thing at the moment with the Switch. You've got the, the Steam Deck. There's rumored to be an Xbox, you know, uh, hybrid, you know, controller slash you know take anywhere device you've got the switch 2 which is rumored to have two screens instead of one um so it's it's there's a lot of people entering this now playstation have entered the playstation the sorry the handheld market before with the playstation portable psp and you know, the playstation vita both of them discontinued probably a little bit ahead of the time because it was I think feel a lot better than the Nintendo Switch, but Nintendo's the daddy when it comes to handhelds, and I think they always will be. But I really, really enjoy this. Like if I go, if I come in from work I'm, I, and I, I leave my PlayStation in rest mode, I can leave this downstairs and I can just come in if I've just done a night shift. I don't have to come upstairs and just disturb people that are asleep, and I can just sit downstairs with this on. The speakers on it are quite good. It doesn't have any Bluetooth functionality with it as well, which is a little bit annoying. But it does have a headphone jack there, so you could use headphones. The only that it's called it's called lightning so there's a little lightning button on there and the new pulse headset and the new earbuds work with this so i'm looking at getting the earbuds because they're supposed to be really good quality um so that'll be a bit more immersive with the sound but just sitting there and playing games like assassin's creed valhalla you know fallout 4 dark pictures anthology games call of duty you know it's really really good and really responsive star wars battlefront 2 i was playing that in bed the other day just just playing star wars battlefront 2 in bed absolutely blown away the, you've got the haptic feedback on here as well but once you've gone from using this would have been nice to have some buttons on the back you know just a map that would have been kind of nice very premium product it's got a mute button as well share everything the playstation controller has it's got your playstation button there which is a little bit takes a little bit to get used to i would strongly recommend getting this if you are a heavy playstation user it's not designed to be taken out the house i've heard people say that you can take it out the house and go to certain places and take it to coffee shops if you've got your rest mode on and they've got a good Wi-Fi. But a lot of places have... So if you're going to a Weatherspoons or something, you're required to log on to their Wi-Fi via a browser. This does not have a browser. So if it's a place that has Wi-Fi where you just where you need... A, it's okay if it has a password. You can do that, no problem. But if you need to log on via a browser to connect to a place's internet, whether it be a coffee shop, a supermarket or whatever, or work, you can't use that. So a lot of people complaining about that. But if it's just Wi-Fi where you click on the Wi-Fi and it says asking for password and you put the password in, it works fine perfectly. So I could probably take this to my parents' house today, leave my PlayStation in rest mode, use their Wi-Fi and play PlayStation games whilst I'm at home, which I never thought about doing actually until just now. I might do that, you know. I might take this to my parents today and see how it works. And that's about it really. Um, it, it feels quite light. The Switch is a lot heavier in my opinion maybe the, maybe about the same but i love do i love this i absolutely love it i got it through ee as well so i didn't pay uh, I'm, I'm still paying for it and paying it through my phone bill and that's even better because my phone bill like my apple watch and my iphone was cost and i paid my i paid for my vr headset through my um phone bill as well and that's just cleared so my phone bill for ages was like 180 quid taking the headset off and i got the switch through my through ee as well ee is fantastic for this got this through ee got my playstation vr 2 headset through ee got this through ee you can get this through ee um it just adds um you can pay over a year or two years you choose and then they add it to your phone bill it's like 10 quid a month for a year for a year and it's nothing really so my phone bill dropped after i paid off my switch and the vr headset my phone bill dropped from 180 pounds to 30 quid because i then stopped paying for um cellular cellular coverage on my apple watch so that knocked another 30 quid off so it came my, my last phone bill was 25 quid because i'm just paying for the phone now and not even the phone it's a sim only so i thought Do you know what i'll treat myself so i got this and i had to pay a 10 pound upfront cost and i'm paying a further I think it's 18 pounds for two years. So that's going to take my phone bill up to 
you know, less than 50 quid or maybe just under or just over 50 quid, which is, so I'm not really seeing the loss. Do you know what I mean? My phone bill's still massively dropped. And that's the main reason why I decided to get one of these. Little did I know that when I got this, it, it said it came with two years of PlayStation Plus Extra, which is great because I'm already subscribed to Premium. So that's going to further decrease cost because I don't have to pay that subscription. I can just pay it through. And for two years, fantastic. Because the extra tier is the best tier. When I opened the box, there was an envelope that said vouchers on it. And I opened the vouchers and it said, there was, well, I opened the, opened the envelope and there was four £50 PlayStation vouchers in there that I could spend on anything I wanted. So there's 200 pounds worth of vouchers in there. And that means I can just, I can subscribe to PlayStation Plus Premium for a year, or I can do two years of extra, or I can do however many of um, PlayStation Plus regular. But I decided not to do that, and it's still in my wallet. So I've, I've cashed in the vouchers. I've got 200 pounds sitting on my PlayStation account. There's not a lot of games coming out this year. I haven't bought any games yet. I'm seriously considering getting um, the new Final Fantasy game or Dragon's Dogma 2. So that's kind of covered me for like costing buying games as well. I've just got that money sitting there as well. So it's a really, really good deal. So if you are with EE, I strongly recommend looking at this because it sold out once and then it restocked really quick and that's where I got it. But screen quality, it's not an uh, it's not an OLED. Would have been nice if it was OLED. It's LED. It's not touch screen, but it does have the touchpad. There's no touchpad here, but when you touch the screen on either side, either there, sorry, there or there, it comes up with a virtual touchpad and that's how you use your touchpad i think it's great i think it's great it's it's uh it's a nice device and i think it's it's definitely i'm very very impressed with it uh, and that's it really that's all i wanted to sort of uh, talk about so i will see you when i get back um i'm gonna try and get a bit more into gaming but there's there's so much going on at the moment like i'm so busy obviously got the stag do we've actually just um got another dog but we haven't got her yet we're getting her after the wedding we've got Hel helen's got her hen do next weekend which i've actually booked off so i'm actually off friday saturday sunday nobody's in the house i've got a free house all weekend i can't wait i'm excited probably gonna maybe try and do a playthrough of a video game of some some kind maybe do i don't know but i'll definitely do some sort of content and then after that we've got a week of just normal week and then we've got the wedding the the, the bank holiday uh, monday so and then we were going to go away in the van because we've been saving up for a honeymoon in the tin and we've been putting like 250 pounds away each every month um but obviously with helen losing the dog ivy she was my dog as well but helen's had her since she was a pup uh helen was just really upset constantly crying just like i think if you're a dog family and you've always had dogs it's very difficult to not have a dog in the house and it becomes very empty and obviously helen's daughter stays with us one week goes to her dad's the other week so she's back and forth but the dog used to go with her ivy used to go with her and when she came back daughter came back and the dog wasn't with her that was a big shock and she was just really upset you know i cried when we went to put her down it was awful but she was just really upset and she was just like i, I really just need another animal to love and i thought i was like that's totally fine let's get a dog together we've had a dog you know, you've had a, you know, the, the last dog unfortunately isn't here anymore. But, you know, there's no, no reason why we can't get another dog. So we're getting a smaller dog because we want to go away in the camper van and do hikes and, you know, walking around the fells and stuff. So we won't be able to take the dog with us. We've got a little girl dog. It's a mini schnauzer. She's called Olive. And we're getting her two days after the wedding. So that original week where we were going to go away on a little mini moon in the van, we're actually just going to have a week at home with the new pup. So it's, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. And obviously when you've got a puppy, I can't just piss off upstairs to the game room and leave leave her to, to you know, we're going to have like puppy proof the house and have gates, you know, puppy gate across the stairs so she doesn't fall down the stairs and stuff. But can't just sit on my ass and play video games when I've got a little pup because they're like kids. So, but I've always said this channel is just as and when I can fit stuff in. It is just, um, it's more of a, a window for me to, you know, a creative window where I can sort of vent or talk about things that i like talk about things that i don't like talk about products you know that i've purchased but i do want to you know carry on it's just very busy at the moment it's a very busy time and may is just crazy so hopefully after may there'll be a steady more steady flow of you know um, games and playthroughs and i also sort of feel like sometimes there's, t there's a lot of times where i finish i don't even finish a game i'll play a game and i'll put it down i'll be like ah, eh, it's not for me and then i sort of feel like i should probably do a first impressions of the game and do a video of why I've put the game down, why I don't, why it hasn't really gelled with me. Just because I don't like a game doesn't mean it's a bad game. It's just not for me. But I do that a lot, so I think I'm just going to start doing first impressions and 
you know, if I'm if I can if I do a first impressions video and that'd be like a part one of a playthrough. If I do like the game, I'll continue the playthrough, or if I don't, I'll just be like, nah, it's not for me, whatever. So that is it. That's the plan. Very busy. Hope everyone's well. Um be kind to each other, play games. It's a very slow year this year. Um I suppose it isn't really. It depends what you like and what you're looking for, you know. There's a lot of games out there this year so far. There's still a few more games to come, you know, Destiny, The Final Shape, Elden Ring DLC, which I'm looking forward to. But other than that, outside of that, really, for me, uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, very interested in that. But other than that, there's not really a lot for me to, to, be, to be sort of excited about. I want to do a playthrough of Hellblade, because I've never played it. And I know the sequel's coming out soon and the first one's supposed to be really good. So I want to try and maybe give that a shot. Maybe do that as a playthrough. Who knows? Um, I just feel like I'm, I say a lot of like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And I don't really sort of deliver. And a lot of that is just because life's fucking busy. Life's busy when you've got other people in your life. You've got other responsibilities. You've got to put other people first. You know, I can't just sit here all the time and play video games. I've got to work it around work and the wife, you know. So it's just... Doing it when I can, basically. So with that said, I will see you on the next video. I will have a good time in Benidorm. Quite nervous about it because I don't think I can drink like I used to be able to. But I will fucking try. Believe me, I will try my best. So with that said, uh, if you want to leave a like, leave a like. If you want to subscribe, uh, do so. But don't feel like you have to. You know, it's not, it's not what it's all about. Uh, I just appreciate the watch. More more appreciative of people commenting and having a... a, a seeing people's takes on stuff in the comments. Uh, so hope you're well. See you on the next one. Adios.